Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2022, slot 2 DILR, says that every day a widget supplier supplies widgets from the warehouse to four locations. You can call these locations A, B, C and D. The daily demand for widgets in each location is uncertain and independent of each other. Demands and corresponding probability values are given against each location. So, for example, there is 40% chance that the demand in Ahmednagar will be 50 units and 60% chance that the demand will be 70 units. Similarly, if you look at uh, place D, there is a 40% chance that the demand will be 30 units and 60% chance that the demand is going to be 50 units. We are given lines that uh, connect the locations and these represent two-way roads connecting those places with the distances in kilometers shown beside the line. And the distances in both directions along a road are equal. So for example, A to B is 6 kilometers, so B to A will also be 6. A to warehouse is 5 kilometers, warehouse to A will be 5 kilometers. Every day the supplier gets the information about the demand values of the four locations and creates the travel route that starts from the warehouse and ends at a location. Now this is paragraph is very important. It gives all the points and one must not miss any of the points while creating the route plan. So the first is start from warehouse, end at a location. So you have to end at a location only, not other places. After visiting all the locations exactly once. So you must go to the location exactly once. So for example, let us say you are starting from the warehouse and you have to go like this A, B, D and C. Suppose the route is like this. So A, B, D, if you cannot go from B to C, right? you will have to go from D like this and come to C like this. Okay, so that is how one must visit every location exactly once. Then the next thing that is given to us is the supplier goes to the locations in decreasing order of demand. So the uh, location which has the highest demands will be visited. Let's say for example C has the highest demand. So the person will visit C first and then other locations. If there is a tie for the choice of the next location, the supplier will go to the location closest to the current location. If there is equal demand. In that case, the person will choose the closest location. Also, while creating the route, the supplier can either follow the direct path if available. Like as I said that if you go from C to A, now you have to go to B or D. Let's say you will go from A to B, which is direct, but you cannot go from B to D directly. So you will have to take the warehouse path. Okay, so that way, you will go via direct path or can take the path via the warehouse. So you can go direct or via warehouse. If both are available, you will choose the shortest path in reaching the place, whichever is shortest. If direct path is not available, one has to go through the warehouse or otherwise, if both are available, the person will choose the shortest path. Like for example, a to B, A to D, if a person goes this way, it is 8 km. But if person goes from A to W and to D, the distance is 7. So the person will choose to go via warehouse from A to D. Now based on these conditions that uh, you will start from a warehouse and end at a location and you will have to go in the decreasing order of demand. And if there is equal demand, uh, you will have to go to the closest location first we have to answer the following questions. So here's the first question. It says if the last location visited is Ahmednagar, then what is the total distance covered in the route in kilometer? Now the last location visited is given as Ahmednagar. So that means the demand at Ahmednagar should be the least. Now Ahmednagar if it has 70 demand, it will be higher than these two values and these two values. So Ahmednagar should have a demand of 50, okay? And all the locations should have a demand of 50 or more, like D will have demand of 50, right? And B will have demand of 60. And C can have any demand. So the person will first visit C because C has the highest demand. 
right next what will happen is c has the highest demand 70 or so we will write the demands a has a demand of 50 b has a demand of 60 c can have 70 or 100 does not matter and then d has a demand of 50 so the person will first visit c then from c to b now which one should visit they are saying that the person has to visit d right because uh, a has to be visited last now this is c and then b now if a person is visiting b what was the condition given that the demands are equal the demands are not unequal so the person will definitely visit like if you go to d it takes 12 kilometer if you go to a it takes only 6 kilometers the person will visit a first and then d first so the root cannot be cbda it has to be cbad because a and d have equal demands so in that case the person will choose the shortest distance so this question was wrong in the paper and was scrapped from the paper and those uh, all the aspirants were given three marks for this question so a cannot be the last place to be visited next question if the total number of widgets delivered in a day is 250 units what is the total distance covered in the route now this is a question which requires you to make combinations of numbers right and it takes time for students to think of those different combinations here is a quick way to solve this question remove since all values are multiples of 10 remove the zero part okay so now we are left with these numbers now it is about the concept of odd and even numbers how odd and even numbers if you add odd and odd numbers you will always get an even number if you add odd and even number you will get an odd number if you add two even numbers if you get an even number now if someone is aware of such logics can find the combinations pretty fast now these are both odd numbers these are both odd numbers these are even numbers okay so odd plus odd will give us an even number even plus sorry this is even so even plus even will also result in even number now the total is odd right so total is odd so far we have total as even in order to make total odd we need to have an odd number over here so the demand at c will be 70 okay now demand at c is 70 now 250 out of 250 70 is done we are left with 180 right that is 18 means we are removed the zeros so 18 if you see the highest demand here can be 12 50 plus 70 and here you can get maximum 60 right so the highest possible is giving 180 50 70 and 60 so we get that the demands are 70 at a 50 at d 60 at e and 70 at c so this gives us a faster way to approach the problem because if you think of all combinations it would take a lot of time so mathematical logic can help us solve it faster now we know that a b c d the demands are 70 at b it is 60 70 at c and 50 at d so first person should visit a or c now a is closer a is just five kilometers so a uh, a will be the first place to visit it so the order has to be a c b and d so one has to visit a c b d now in, in going to a the person requires five kilometer so five kilometer from warehouse to a now a to c one cannot go by other stations so we'll have to go diagonally so it will be 5 plus 12 17 kilometers to c 17 kilometer is needed including going to the warehouse okay and then from c to b the distance is just four kilometer and from b to d you have to take the warehouse route only so it will take another 12 kilometers so total is 22 plus 16 38 kilometers what is the chance that the total number of widgets delivered in a day is 260 units and the route ends at Bikrampur okay so we are given that route ends at Bikrampur so Bikrampur will have the least demand that is 40 okay 
should have 40. Now 40 is the demand over here. That means we need to make 220. And in the previous question also, we saw this odd plus odd thing is giving us even. This is already even. So this has to be even. So it will be 100. Okay. 100. That means total of remaining two is 120, which is 50 and 70. So this is how we can get the combinations faster of calculating these values. Now this is a question based on conditional probability. Conditional probability means like there is a 60% chance the person has to go to uh, A, 60% chance at uh, A, 60% probability at D, 30% uh, probability for B and 70% for the probability of demand at C. So we need to find the uh, probability of entire route like this. So what we will do, this is a conditional probability. We will multiply all these probabilities. So we have 60% into 30%. C, the probability of the demand is 70% and D, the probability is 30, uh, 60%. So 60 into 30 is 1800. So 18% and 70 into 60 is 42%. So 42 into 18, we will get 756 so 7.56 percent is the the probability that the route will end at Bikrampur okay so that is multiplication of all probabilities so if you have to let's say the probability of event x is given as p percent and probability of event y is q percent and probability of event z is r percent so if x also happens y also happens z also happens the probability is being multiplied so if all things are to be true the probability will be the product of all these and hence we will get 7.56 percent if the first location visited from the warehouse is ahmednagar what is the chance that the total distance covered in the route is 40 kilometer now in this question, in the previous question, we were not given something uh, about the location visited. Here we are already given the first location visited is Ahmednagar. So Ahmednagar, if it's the first location visited, that Ahmednagar should have a demand of 70. That is already known to us. In the previous case, the initial, see, this is a case of conditional probability wherein a previous thing is already known. So in the previous case, the root was not known, right? So root was not known. Here the root is known that it will start from A. So you will be definitely going to A. So there is 60% chance already. And after A, it has to be C. There is no other alternative. You can, there are no alternative routes. Okay, so A and C are already given. A, C is already given to us. So we will focus only on the remaining part and get the probability okay we need to find the remaining root and the probability so there are two possibilities that the root can be acbd or the root can be acdb so let us check the length of both roots so if you go to a you will require 5 kilometer then a to c this will be 5 plus 12 17 kilometers c to b c to b is 4 kilometers and B to D is 10 plus 2, 12 kilometers. So 22 plus 16, that is 38 kilometer. So this will not be the root. A, C, D, B will mean 5 plus 17. C to D is 6 kilometers. And D to B is 2 plus 10, 12 kilometers. So this is a total root of 40 kilometer. So we will have the root as A, C, D, B. Now in this scenario, as we discussed that, first two places are already known. In the previous question, none of the places was known to us. So AC and uh, AC is already known to us. So we will find the probability of D into B, only D into B. So the probability of reaching D is, so D has higher uh, demand that is 50 and B will have the lower demand. Okay, so then only you will have the root ACDB. So the required probability will be 60% into 30%. We will multiply only two terms because AC is already known to us. So we will get the answer as 18%.
If Ahmednagar is not the first location to be visited in a route and the total distance is 29 km, which of the following is a possible number of widgets delivered on that day? So if Ahmednagar is not the first place to be visited, then obviously the only place that can be visited is C. So the first place is C. Now the total distance is also given as 29 km. Okay. Now what is the demand at C? We need not worry about at this moment. Now suppose the next place is A because A also has a demand of 17 one of the cases. Now if suppose this next place is A, C A to warehouse to C is 12 km and C to A is 17 km. You will end up consuming 29 km in only two places. The total route is 29. So definitely second is not A. Right. So A is not there. So A should have a lower demand. So A will have a demand of 50 for sure. Now the next possibility is from C to uh, there is there are two ways. One is C, B, A, D because if you consider B as 60, B will come first. So one route is possible as C, B and then obviously A is closer and D. So one route is C, B, A, D. Another route is C. Let us say the demand at B is just 40. C, D, A, B. So these are the two possible routes. Let us first calculate the distance and verify which route to take. So to C, there will be 12 kilometers. From C to B, there are 4 kilometers. B to A, 6 kilometers. And A to D, you will not take 8 km, you will take this route of 7 km. So the total route in this case is 29 km. Let us check the other route also. C to D is 6 km. D to A again 7 km because you will go via warehouse. And A to B is 6 km. So this route will become 31 km. We need to take the 29 km route. So that means CDAB is not possible. The route is CBAD. Now the route is CBAD. It means that we will write what are the demands. So C will have a demand of 70 or 100. We cannot predict. B is second location. So definitely B will have a demand of 60 in this case. Then we will have A. A will have definitely a demand of 50 only. And D can have any demand. So even if D has demand of 50, A will be visited first because of proximity to B. So D can have a demand of 30 or 50. Now we need to find the total number of widgets. Now see, this is uh, like let's to take the lowest number that is 130 plus 80 that is 210. Right? 210 is the lowest number. The next number we can have is add a 20 to it so we can have 230 if instead of 70 you make it 100 and this remains as 30 only so increase of 30 from original 240 and if both you take the higher values so this is 100 260 so 260 so these could be the total number of widgets delivered 210 30 40 and 60 so among the options 210 satisfies the condition